All right, guys. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set up a subtask creation automation. And the reason you might want to do this is because subtasks are actually more versatile when they're created by an automation instead of being applied by a template. At Clickdown, we generally prefer to use templates to store subtasks and other details and apply them on a status change. But there are some cases and there's some builds where things are changing enough it doesn't make sense to do that and that's what i'm going to show you today so let's add a task in here we'll call it test the new subtask automation and then we'll see we've got to do in progress and complete as our statuses now you'll see there is nothing else attached to this task right now so i'm going to go in and i'm going to create an automation that when the in progress is applied normally what we do is we would apply a template but instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here and i'm going to say change due date so i want it to go and i want this task to be due five days after the automation triggers this is so you always have a due date on your task and i'm going to make sure that that task gets assigned an assignee and then i'm going to add in a few subtasks and I'm just going to do two here, but I'm going to show you an example in just a minute on when we actually had to create two separate automations because we were creating so many. And so when I use this create a subtask automation, then if I leave the parent task blank, it's going to apply to the task that triggered it. So the first one might be check off all the reports in the document related to task name and that task name that is a field you'll see it's listed as a variable and all of these variables are these fields they are the fields related to the task that triggered this automation and so then i'm going to keep going i want to set the due date for this i want it to be due two days after the automation triggers so after the task is moved to in progress then i'm going to keep going and i'm going to do another one and we're just going to make this quick double check the reports and then I'm going to add another due date and I'm going to set it to trigger four days after and so now I'm going to create this so we'll see da -da 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 -da. this is what it does when the status changes change the due date change the assignee create the subtasks generally I would try to keep these all in one automation whenever possible so if I already have a change due date change assignee on status I would generally add the subtasks to it. Now, when I apply this, and if I go back in here and I edit this and I decide for these subtasks, I actually want assignees. Then if we jump back in here and we create another one of these and we do that and we hit that, then You'll see terst, test the new subtask automation, test the new subtask automation, terst, terst, double check the reports, and now with people assigned as well.